Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel unit. Today I am going to deploy a mail server uh, in my Docker Compose uh, uh, environment. Uh, that mail server I am going to deploy is uh, a stalwart uh, mail server. It is written in uh, Rust language. It is a modern uh, mail server. There is no need to worry about uh, self-hosting mail server nowadays. It's easy to uh, deploy a stalwart mail server. If you have uh, any server, you can uh, host it yourself. But the thing is that you need to have that uh, uh, port 25 open. It's a modern mail server. It's uh, written in Rust language. There are uh, many features are available. Uh, it supports JMAP, JSON uh, meta application protocol server. Uh, it's uh, uh, secure and fast and robust. Uh, it is uh, more scalable than IMAP. Uh, today, I am going to deploy it uh, uh, in Docker Compose behind uh, Caddy reverse proxy. I already uh, have uh, the server set up. Make sure that you have DNS entries at, uh, added to your uh, uh, DNS manager. This is the uh, server I installed Docker and Docker Compose. I have the Docker Compose file as well. I will just open it. Compose file and this is the uh, services. Uh, the first service I have in this uh, Docker Compose file is uh, uh, Caddy. This is a custom image uh, built by me. I added a uh, Cloudflare DNS module to this uh, uh, base Caddy image and then built uh, a custom image and I published it to Docker uh, Hub. I have networks Caddy and INET. Caddy is an externally available network. INET is a grid network. This is the uh, mail server, Salmar. Uh, this is the image I am using and this I just wanted to start this mail server uh, after the caddy services started and also uh, I just mapped that uh, mail server data to a local folder and these are the ports you need to mention and I just wanted to have this internal bridge network it is available through that caddy reverse proxy only these are the volumes and these are the uh, networks uh, I have in my Docker Compose file. I'll deploy it using Docker Compose of minus T uh, command. This, this is the command. <coughs> you can check the uh, services. Yeah, they started. And also check the logs of this uh, mail server. It will give you that username and password details. Go to that logs. These are the uh, username and password. Uh, I will show you the caddy file. This is the uh, caddy file that has this uh, uh, site information. I have this uh, uh, URL mail.cloud.co. This is the reverse proxy that uh, uh, this is the service name and the port that is going to uh, expose. This is a simple caddy file. If you need any help, I will uh, help you on that. And uh, uh, we can access that uh, URL by using this uh, uh, username and password. You can uh, copy that password. Username is admin and this is the password. Admin and the password. Now you have the management uh, console open for your mail server. First you need to add domains and thereafter accounts. Uh, you can uh, play it around and uh, it is very easy to maintain. It is a modern mail server. You can use it uh, for self-hosting your mail server. If you like this video, share it to the community and uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you very much for uh, watching this video. Bye.